What is up, everybody? I'm Jeff. I'm Bethany. This is the Horror Fiend, as always. Um, sorry we didn't record. It's, it seems like it's been forever. We actually did record. It's just what we recorded was an interview, and that interview is for next month. So we have been busy. We have been doing shit. It's just we haven't been able to upload yet. Um, you don't get to see it yet. Not yet, but you're going to like it, trust me. And our editor did a pretty awesome job with it as well. So when it is up, that interview is going to be fun. Um, so let's just let's jump into everything that we're going to talk about today. It's going to be a relatively short video because there's not a whole lot of information going on in the horror community right now because everything, you know, this world's kind of in a jumble of bullshit. And yeah, so um, let's go ahead and start off with Horror Fiend News because the channel i told you guys they were coming i told you guys that they're in the process of being made i'm actually surprised that i got this before i got the other thing that i'm going to mention but um merchandise is like you guys have already seen the the flag here's here's the mask i was gonna originally wear it but i was like nah so i'll just show it as you can see it has the horror fiend logo the skull one we're also gonna be doing masks with the universal monsters on it as well but you guys that you see they they're here they're coming this is pretty much the little prototype this is the first one i of course have the the honor of having it so um they're coming I it's like pretty it. it is i like the way it looks um it's comfortable as hell i've been i've been taking it to work that's my it's just my go-to mask now like i have a jigsaw one and i have a michael myers one and like all kinds of other ones over there but this is like my go-to now so we now have the masks are being made and thought up and all that. And um, so there's that. And I totally <laughs> fucked up the way I was going to do this video. Um, and I don't want the editor to edit this out. I might as well. I mean, this is a part of doing this shit. I originally, when there's been any type of death, any type of bad news, I always start the video with that. But I got a little too excited about the masks, so um, we're going to go ahead and now I'm sure the world knows by now that um, Chadwick Boseman has passed away. Uh, he was fighting colon cancer and, you know, while filming like six different movies and nobody knew it and... So, as always, I know we normally do it for people that are, you know, related to horror, but I would like to take a moment of silence now for Chadwick Boseman, um, just a great guy, what he did for the, I, I, I hate saying it, but like what he, not just for the blacks, but like for everybody, but like being that role model for the African-American community, for the younger African-American community. And just as a person, like as a human being, because what he just did, like all of those movies while fighting colon cancer, that's, I mean, he's a man's man. So um, I would like to take a moment of silence right now for him. If y'all would, I'd appreciate it. Okay. Um, now with that out of the way, all all the sad stuff and the all the all the bleh, and since I completely messed up the program and talked about the the horrifying stuff first, I'm gonna go ahead and continue with horrifying stuff. Um, soon we will we're gonna start adding more content to this channel. We always talk about how we want to, like when we're off screen, we talk about stuff we want to do for the channel and we haven't done it yet because you know life but we are going to start adding more content to the channel i'm going to start doing things i have a whole collection that keeps growing behind me i have stuff over here on my floor that i want to do unboxings with and um so i'm going to be doing stuff like that i'm going to give you guys more of a sneak peek bethany has been talking about wanting to do like um um like we're with books like she wants to like maybe like reviews or talk about certain like horror books and stuff like that. And so it's going to be like our own little solo things as well on here, just so it's a little bit more content. So expect that to come within the next few weeks. We are going to start 
dipping into a little bit more things here and there and um, going from that. So aside from the masks and the shirts being made still and all the other shit going on, that is coming. So stay tuned for that. We also have more interviews lined up, more things coming as far as that goes. I've been, should be good times. Should be good times. Yeah, I've been busy. Uh, really a lot busy. So it's all fun, though. Like It's really cool. I'm looking forward to sharing some stuff with you guys and just seeing how everything plays out. And also... Just real quick, I wanted to say thank you because that video that we did with David has it's still getting a lot of views and you know uh, people are enjoying it. Um, the, the likes have surprised me. We've actually been getting a, the last few videos we've been getting more likes, and so thank you for that. Um, I appreciate it. It's it's cool that you guys <clears throat> excuse me. It's cool that you guys are enjoying it. Um, we are going to do something special. Just because my editor couldn't do it at the time when we, when we interviewed David, we will be having an, it's going to be another version of that video. It's the same video, but I'm going to give my editor the video and I'm going to let him have his fun with it because that's what he really wanted to do. And so in October, you guys will have that video again, but it's going to be edited. And it's going to have a bunch of like Art the Clown stuff and all kinds of crazy stuff in it because he was really upset that he couldn't edit it when that interview happened. So that's a little like a little October treat for you guys. We're giving you that video again, but edited because some of you actually enjoy the edited versions of the videos. So hell yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, other than that, Bethany, if you would, could you please mention... The first bit of a horror related news, por favor. Oh, yeah. So we know that and more are likely to come announcements of postponements. And it looks like the Chucky TV series is going to be postponed until sometime in 2021. And the Candyman movie, the remake, is also going to be postponed till sometime in 2021. Yeah, and I mean, expected. I think we all expected it by now. Like ever since, ever since they did Spiral, I was just like, okay, everything's it's bound to happen. Like the one I didn't yeah. want to happen was Halloween, and obviously it already did. So, yeah, whatever. But um, on the bright side, if you've looked up any new information, there are a lot of horror movies coming in 2021. So it should be a very eventful year for a bunch of horror fans. I, hopefully it's it's our year. You know, it's horror takes over, and um, I mean, so that's something to look forward to. It really is. It it sucks, obviously, with all this crap going on, but it's for the best. Um, it really is, and I'm I'm still looking forward to everything. I'm sad about it, you know. Here, but. At the same time, it's like we can't do anything about it, so I might as well just watch all the old ones. And speaking of, um, if you guys didn't know, Terrifier is officially off Netflix now. So if you haven't bought it yet, what the hell is wrong with you? Go buy the movie. I'm plugging my buddy David. You know, he deserves it. Damien deserves it. That whole cast deserves it. Go buy the movie. If you like it so much, buy it. It's amazing. I bought it on my PS4. I bought it on my Xbox. I'm pretty sure I have it. Like, on my phone, too. Like, I love that movie. So, if you guys want to watch Terrifier, now that it's not on Netflix, buy it. Um, I don't I don't condone illegal downloading. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so, yeah, there's that. Um, and, like, it, it, what really sucks is because, like, we're all looking forward to, especially that Chucky show. Like, I'm... I'm really looking forward to the Chucky TV series because they're saying that Tilly's going to be there. Oh, yeah. It's they a, have a lot Tilly of uh, the characters from the movies that are supposed to be in the in the series. So it's really exciting, but we still got to give it another who knows when next year. Hopefully. like I have a feeling after the elections, all of a sudden the world's going to start getting better. Yeah. I hope so. I really hope so. Yeah, I think the same thing. I hope so. Make it... Uh, <laughs> Right around Christmas time, 
Everybody right. will be good to go. You could go Black Friday shopping now. Um, speaking of, just because I'm trying to, like, I'm remembering little bits of things as we go. So, guys, October's next month. It's close. Halloween time is here. Hashtag don't cancel Halloween. Okay? <laughs> I'm saying it now. Don't cancel Halloween. Over here where I live, my neighbors know, Beth knows, I'm going to have piles of candy for the kids, okay? If they want to come trick-or-treating, if ass clowns try canceling trick-or-treating for those kids, guess what? I got them hooked up. I'm going to make sure that kids can go trick-or-treating because that's bullshit. I know we're in COVID, and I know it's bad, but guess what? Half the time, they're wearing fucking masks anyway. If Let the kids trick-or-treat. Just be smart about it, okay? Six feet apart isn't a big deal. Be smart about it, even if it's like one kid at a door at a time or something. But don't tossing tossing the candy into yeah. their bag if you don't want them to get close. Still wearing masks. Yeah. Like there, there are ways. I saw this cool um, little invention they made where it was a candy slide, and they made this big tube with a skull at the end of it, oh, and they slide the candy it. in. It was awesome. So that's you an can, idea. You could literally grab one of those little dinosaur things that fucking you have, use a little T Rex mouth and pick up things and just do it that way. Like I like that idea. I think I'll do that right? one. Yeah, it's like don't take it away from the kids. Don't do not do that, man. Like, this year is already utter shit, okay? Between politics and COVID and everything else, this year is just complete trash. Don't take that away from the kids. Don't do it. We're throwing a party, for crying out loud, because we, we're, we're all, we all tested for COVID. We, none of us have it, so we're going to have an outside party. We're setting up a whole fucking cemetery and bonfire and shit. Like, we're going to have a good time, because, like, that's how it is. But Halloween we, is not canceled. Yeah, this isn't Halloween fucking six, okay? It doesn't get canceled. Because that's what they did in Halloween six. They canceled <laughs> Halloween. But no, fuck that. But speaking of Halloween and all that shit going on, um, Spirit Spirit Halloween actually has some really cool fucking things right now. Um, I'm going to show one of them just because I think I can reach it from here. I might show a few things. So one of the things that I bought from Spirit, and if you guys don't know, I mean, how much I love Halloween, not just the the holiday, but the actual movie, you know, kind of have an obsession with it. Michael, Michael. Um, so they got Judith Myers, Judith Meyer headstones. I love this shit. This shit could get hung up, but I'm like, I'm just gonna. And um, so yeah, they got Judith Meyer headstones. What else do they got? I'm showing off a little bit of the collection right now. Fuck it. Um, they have, I love this one. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they actually have, you know, the trick or treat lollipop, and I was like, oh my god, it's amazing! I had to get it. And then, dude, okay, I'm a hardcore Nightmare Before Christmas fan. Before my cover up, it's right here on my arm. But they they got Deadly Nightshade, the actual bottle for Deadly Nightshade, and this shit glows. It glows. I mean, it's cool like that. Like, I normally don't go to Spirit a lot, but they got some cool shit. The last they thing do. I'll show you guys, can't believe I'm plugging Spirit. But um, the last thing I'm going to show you all, and, like, I love this too, just because I'm working on the backdrop for the Horror Fiend. I got the SS Georgie. <sighs> like, this is awesome. And it's nice. Just, it's the SS Georgie. And, like, so if you guys want shit like that, Spirit has coupons right now. I think they're like weekly coupons where you get 20% off of a single purchase or 25% off of like accessories or some shit like that. So um, the only reason why I'm even plugging them or talking about them and showing off some of the stuff is because like I'm hell bent on this, guys. Don't let Halloween die. Don't let this shit happen, okay? Like don't, don't do that to the kids. Like COVID sucks ass, yes. But don't let the kids not have a Halloween, you know, this, that would be horrible. Like in history, no Halloween. Yeah. Like, fuck that. Like this year could officially go to shit if anybody tries that. Um, so yeah, please don't, don't. They need, happen. they need a little bit of fun uh, with the schoolings, the way they've been and everything else. They need a little bit of fun, exactly. a tiny bit of normalcy. Even if you only have to contact people, you know, to go trick or treating, you know, try to figure something out so that these kids can still, enjoy something this year exactly man just do it and you guys enjoy it too like like everybody like i said we're throwing a party um at a friend's house just because 
we want to have fun, you know, and we're, we're going to decorate and we're going to dress up. I'm going to be super Freddy. So, um, yeah, guys, just, just let that go. Um, yeah, look at that. I'm happy. I actually thought of something else to talk about. Beth, um, the next subject that we're going to mention, I want you to mention, but don't mention the main part. I'm, I'm kind of being vague about this, but I want to lead into it. So mention something that we've already talked about. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, good. I won't mess it up now. I, I gotcha. <laughs> okay, so for Scream 5, there's been coming out a lot of articles, a lot of news, a lot of fun with it. So Matthew Litter Lillard, I messed that up. Matthew Lillard has um, kind of been hinting and also doesn't believe that Stu is dead. So... Yeah. There might be a fun surprise in Scream 5 for, for that. Maybe, maybe he's the killer. He comes back. Maybe they'll end it where it started. Or I, I just think there's a lot of fun possibilities with that. And I'm excited for that, too. So um, like we, we touched up on this a while ago. We talked about when Matthew Lillard was saying... You know, how he would love to come back to the Scream franchise and how, and much how we would it. love to see it. Yeah. And um, so now, like, the fact that he keeps going at it, it made me wonder. Like, we, I kept wondering, I was like, how, how could he have survived a TV getting dropped on his head is what I kept trying to ponder. And I actually, I thought of something that I think might actually be good. And if they go with it, I'll be stoked. Like, what if when that happened, it didn't kill him, but it put him, like, in a coma? Mm -hmm. And so, like, he had the brain damage and, you know, maybe he got his circuits fried a little bit, but he was in a coma. So he actually doesn't die. You think he died, but he doesn't die. And instead, he's in a coma. And this whole time, he's been in a coma. And then he, like, wakes up or something. Like, I think that that would be cool as shit. Like, they they could, if they really wanted to, they could pull off Stu coming back and... It like could work, this. and it's already the fifth movie, so it definitely works. Because the the further you go in sequels, the more things just fly out the window, and the movies start becoming a little more crazy and crazy. So it would stay on that same theme that Scream is. So it works. Exactly, and like like how you say, like it'd be cool just like bringing it all back, like full circle, you know, like. It started with him and Billy, and then it ends with him or something like that. I think that's really mm -hmm. cool. I'm still advocating that I hope Gail Weathers dies. Like, I'm sorry. Some people are going to hate me for that, but it's time. Somebody, I, I don't want Dewey to die. I like Dewey. But, like, Gail, it's time. It's time. Like, even if Sydney dies. Like, I was kind of wanting Sydney to die in, you know, Scream 4 because I was like, hell yeah, you know. We got a new a new killer, and she's awesome as shit. And like this is how it happens. So main characters have to die, except for Dewey, because I love Dewey. Dewey's. I'm awesome. still not on board. I still want Sydney to make it. I want her nah. to make it all the way through. I am. I'm not on board with it. Speaking of Sydney, uh, it has like we've already talked about it. I've already I've already known this because I was like, there's no way in hell they're gonna do this movie without her. But it is now confirmed ink to paper that Nev Campbell is officially signed on with Scream 5, which comes out in like January of 2022. So she is signed on. She is going to be back. We are going to have Sydney Prescott. We're going to have Gail Weathers. We're going to have Dewey Riley. Like we have everybody there now. And, and possibly Stu. And, and possibly maybe, Stu. Maybe. Yeah, I like. Don't want to start any rumors, but I'm I'm totally down with it. Um, but yeah, having Nev come back, like in my opinion, at this rate, there are only two Survivor girls that I think are head and shoulders just above the rest, and that is literally Jamie Lee Curtis's Lori Strode and um, Nev Campbell's Sydney Prescott because. Sydney Prescott, ever since day one, from the first screen movie all the way, has been kicking ass and taking names. And we've watched her evolution as a character from the first one all the way to the fourth one. And now we get to see her in the fifth one. So definitely. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun to watch. I can't wait for it. 
I'm really excited about it. So am I, honestly. Like, a Scream 5, just that makes my bacon sizzle. And, like, now it's like, cool, next year we got we got Halloween Kills and Candyman, hopefully, and Spiral and that Chucky show all coming out next year, along with a bunch of other stuff. And mm-hmm. then in 22, we already know Scream's set up to open that year, like in January. So it's going to be an interesting next couple of years. You know, hopefully COVID dies down and hopefully everything gets back in the natural order and we can actually start going to movie theaters. I hope so. I have big plans for next year. Conventions, right. concerts, oh, movies. I, I got big plans, so I'm I'm hoping. I'm and hoping. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying, man. Like I, I want to go to concerts and I want to go to movies and obviously conventions and just all the stuff that I'm normally used to doing. I want to actually do. I would love to be able to broadcast the horror fiend from Texas Nightmare Weekend. You know, <laughs> I think that'd be cool as hell. And um, but we are. I have plans too for Frightmare. Like, I have to talk to you about them outside of the video, but I have plans. I think there's a few things mm-hmm. we could do while we're out in Texas. Wink, 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 wink. Um, but yeah, like that's that's pretty much all there is to talk about. The biggest news was Dev Campbell. I mean, all the postpones too, but. Dev Campbell being back in Scream is pretty dope. So that was positive news. So we're gonna end on positive. Right. Yay. Um, Jazz hands. Yeah, it's like started positive, got really sad, and then eh, and then positive. So <laughs> but um yeah, that's it guys. It's gonna be a super, super short video this week just because there's not a whole lot to talk about. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up. We will see you guys probably next week. We'll have more news. Um, I'm going to try to do some sort of thing this week as far as my collection. It's growing. There's more Metro figures up there that, that probably shouldn't be. Eh. But um, you guys, are, we'll start doing little videos, and we're going to start going from there. So, Bethany, do you have any final thoughts for the boils and ghouls? Um, No, I think that's pretty much it, except for... Again, Halloween is not canceled. I think that's so funny that we got the same thing. I know. I love it. That's like, awesome. Same anybody thing. Tries, anybody tries canceling Halloween, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to shove it where it doesn't shine. You catch my drift. Don't do it. I'll go straight up Sam on you. Okay. For the horror fiend, ladies and gentlemen, boils and ghouls, children of all ages, I am Jeff. That one right there is. Bethany. And we will see you guys later. Peace and bell bottom.